back to Bibliotin. Today's topic is Pi Rabbit. The first point, an edangerous space can occur on both sides of a tooth, creating a lone freestanding Pi Rabbit. Edangerous space. Here you can see edangerous space occurring on both sides of a tooth. And this tooth is acting as a lone freestanding Pi Rabbit. Now, how to draw this figure? Draw a central incisor, then a lateral incisor and something like this to show your canine. Leave a space, draw your premolar like almost like this and then again leaving a space, draw a molar like this. Uh, mark the tooth, this one as your pyre abutment and you are done well to go. Second point to remember is normally rigid connectors are used between pontics and retainers in FPD. Okay, that is your second point to remember. And third point is to prevent unseating, a non rigid connector is used next to fire abutments. That is your third point. Next is this when in which condition this non rigid connector is avoided it is avoided when for example here there is your pyre abutment and opposing arch is edangerous or there is an rpd in those conditions a non rigid connector is avoided because it will cause supra eruption of your posterior abutment and it will unseat the key that is the fourth point to remember now what is the type of non-rigid design which is used? Usually there will be a T-shaped key attached to the pontic and a dovetail keyway placed within the retainer. Okay. Now that was the fifth point. Again recap, first we told what is a pyre abutment, then we told normally rigid connectors are used. Non-rigid connector is used in terms of pyre abutment. What won't be used when there is an edangerous opposing arch or an RPD due to supra eruption and unseating of the key. Now we are speaking about the design of non-rigid connector, T-shaped key and dovetail keyway and where it should be placed. The keyway of the connector should be placed within the distal part of your pyre abutment and key should be placed on the mesial side of your distal pontic this is important here you can see this one is your pyre abutment so your key way will be on the distal part of this pyre abutment whereas your key you can see your key will be on the mesial side of your distal pontic this is a mesial side this is the distal side so mesial side of the distal pontic has your key now if the keyway is on the mesial side then it will cause unseating of the key why because usually in the posterior teeth the long axis is leaning slightly in the mesial direction and when occlusal forces are applied it will cause mesial movement. So that is what is leading to the unseating of the key. These eight points and this one figure you will be good to go. If you can draw this figure it will be something additional you can do. So that's all about pyre abutment. Reference was fundamentals of FPD Tillman. Questions usually short note on pyre abutment is asked. It's a frequent question which has been asked in university exams. Thanks a lot for watching. Do subscribe to our channel.